بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد يا brothers and sisters السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته now in this session I'm going to uh, teach you an al mukhaffafa an al mukhaffafa which is the lightened form of anna in another session i have taught you inna al mukhaffafa inna which has been lightened as in the ayah in qawlihi ta'ala wa in kanu min qablu la fi dhalali mubin wa in kanu and they were indeed before the revelation in manifest error when many people translate it as when kanu even though that is wrong when when kanu means they were indeed this inna and mukhafa and not an in shartiyya when kanu in the same way just as inna has got the lightened form in, in the same way Anna has a lightened form which is An and this lightened form is used after the word Alima knowledge, knowing, sure knowledge or any other verb having this meaning sure knowledge Here is a very good example. In 73.20, we have Alima an sayakunu minkum marda. Alima an sayakunu minkum marda. Alima an sayakunu 
منكم مرضى مرضى is ممنوع من الصرف علم أن سيكون this is 70 73 20 73 20 علم أن سيكون منكم مرضى الله سبحانه وتعالى نيو أن سيكون منكم مرضى that there will be sick people amongst you علم أن سيكون منكم مرضى مرضى اسمه سيكون منكم خبر سيكون علم أن سيكون منكم مرضى so that is أن here is أن المخففة light and أن and we will see some of the details regarding this concept the if an is lightened what happens it can be used in a verbal sentence or a normal nominal sentence jumla ismi and jumla fi'li both can come after an and what happens to its uh, ism its ism in this case is always dhamir shan an hu an hu and this dhamir shan is also omitted it, it does not remain it is omitted but <coughs> if you want to know what the dhamir what what its uh, ism is ism of an al mukhaffafa its ism is hu which is the dhamir shan and it is always omitted now here i would like to tell you something about dhamir shan Zamir Shan, I'll give an example in English. We say this is a useful book. And it is very cheap now this it here refers to the book this is a useful book and it is very cheap so it as in English as in uh, English and also in other languages a pronoun, pronoun always refers to something which has already been mentioned before in the sentence uh, before this uh, sentence so for example this is my cat it is very beautiful this is my cat and it is very beautiful it refers to the cat so always in in english and other languages a pronoun refers to something which has been mentioned already in a previous sentence but i'll give an example where this does not happen in english first of all we say it is wrong to say so it is wrong to say so now what is it here what is it referred to there is nothing before it but we understand it here does not refer to anything before or previously mentioned it refers to something which comes after it is wrong to say so to say so is wrong you can also say so to say so is wrong so actually this is muktada to say so is wrong is khawa but we want to emphasize this and say this at a later stage so that your minds are ready to accept it so you bring in a prop it it is wrong you can't understand what means here it it is wrong it has no sense unless you say to say so which takes the place of it when the whole sentence is mentioned to say so actually becomes it to say so is wrong so this 
In English you have this, and in Arabic also you have this, and in Arabic you call it the Miru Shan. Shan means fact or matter. So sometimes you have who masculine, then it is called the Miru Shan. And sometimes you have pronoun ha feminine, then it is called the Mir al Qissa. Qissa means narrative story. Uh, because it is feminine, we call it the Mir al Qissa. Masculine, we call it the Mir Shan. So it, it is always, it can be huwa as a dhamir munfasil as you have in Surah Al-Ikhlas Qul huwa Allahu ahad Qul, say, the fact is that Allah is one Huwa, it stands for Allahu ahad Allahu ahad is the fact Qul huwa Allahu ahad Now, after inna you have In some ayat, for example, for innaha, I'll first of all give you the masculine innahu. Innahu man yattaqi. Man yattaqi. وَيَصْبِرْ وَيَصْبِرْ فَإِنَّ اللَّهَ فَإِنَّ اللَّهَ لَا يُضِيعُ أَجْرًا مُحْسِنٍ Now this is Surah Yusuf. Surah Yusuf is 12. I don't remember the. You can easily find out. So innahu man yattaqi. The fact is, indeed the fact is innahu man yattaqi. He who wards of evil wa yasbir and endures. فَإِنَّ اللَّهَ لَا يُضِيعُ عَجْرَ الْمُحْسَيْنِ Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not make the reward of the good doers lost. Does not make it lost. So the whole sentence you have to have your mind prepared to listen to this sentence, to receive this message. And that preparation is done by the ضَمِيرُ الشَّانِ إِنَّهُ The fact is, indeed the fact is, and you, you know, wait for receiving the message or the sentence that is going to come. إِنَّهُ The fact is that, and then it comes, so your minds are prepared to receive this message. Now the feminine, which is ضَمِيرُ الْقِصَّةِ فَإِنَّهَا فَإِنَّهَا لَا تَعْمَ الْأَبْصَارُ فَإِنَّهَا لَا تَعْمَ الْأَبْصَارُ وَلَكِنْ تعمى القلوب التي في الصدور فإنها لا تعمل الأبصار. Now this is twenty-two forty-six. فإنها the fact is. Now it's a long sentence, long message. 
So you prepare your listener by giving you the by giving them the, the idea that you are going to tell you something for in the for in naha. The fact is La Tamal Absar. It is not the sights which grow or grow blind. La Tama Amiya Yama Amiya Yama like Sami Ayasma e a group. For in naha la tamal absar. Walakin tamal kulubu. But it is the hearts which are in the bosoms that grow blind. So this is Damir al Qissa and this is Damir al Shan and uh, this is of course Damir Nasb because of Inna and an Inna. But here in Qulwa Allah Wahad is Damir Munfasil, Damir al Rafa. So this is uh, in fact in 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 in, uh, in short the meaning of the mere shan or, or the mere qissa. You have also another example, very good example. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah. An la ilaha illallah. Here the ism an has been omitted, which we should be who, an who, an who, which is the mere shan which has been. Omitted. So the Mirshan, or the which is uh, Ismu An, the lightened An, uh, its uh, its Ism is always the Mirshan, but it does not stay. It is removed. It is omitted. Now, let us go to An al Mukhaffafa. It can be used. With both the Jumla Ismiya and Jumla Fa'liya. After An, Al Mukhafafa, you can have a Jumla Ismiya or a Jumla Fa'liya. Jumla Ismiya, as I told you, Ashadu An La ilaha illallah, An La ilaha illallah, La ilaha illallah. So Jumla Ismiya starts with La An Nafiya Lil Jins. So Ashadu An La ilaha illallah. Another example, Wa Akhiru Da'awana, Akhiru Da'awahum, An Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. The full ayah I'll give you. The full ayah is وَدَعْوَاهُمْ فِيهَا سُبْحَانَكَ اللَّهُمَّ وَدَعْوَاهُمْ Da'wah here means prayer. And their prayer فِيهَا in it, that is in Jannah. And their prayer therein is سُبْحَانَكَ اللَّهُمَّ Glorified be you, O Allah, سُبْحَانَكَ اللَّهُمَّ وَتَحِيَّتُهُمْ فِيهَا سَلَامٌ And their greetings therein, that is in Jannah, is salam, peace. وَآخِرُ دَعْوَاهُمْ The conclusion of their prayer, the end of their prayer. وَآخِرُ دَعْوَاهُمْ أَنِ الْحَمْدُ لِلَّهِ رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ وَآخِرُ دَعْوَاهُمْ أَن The fact is, then who which has been omitted, that is the ism أَن أَنِ الْحَمْدُ لِلَّهِ رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ The fact is that all praise belong to Allah, the Lord of the universe. So this is Jumla Ismaya. Also an la ilaha illallah is also ashad an la ilaha illallah is also Jumla Ismaya. Now we have Jumla Fa'liya. Jumla Fa'liya, there are two types. One is with a Jamid verb. The other other type is the uh, one without a Jamid verb. Now let us take a uh, uh, Jamid verb and Jumla Ismiya. And these two types, Jumla Ismiya, we have seen. Ja will ja with a jamid verb you know we will see it now for example wa an laysa lil insani illa ma sa'a wa an laysa lil insani illa 
massa här. So here we have Laysa, which is Pearl Jamid, and Laysa. The ayah before that is Am lam yunabba bima fi suhfi Musa. Or has he, he has not been informed. Man am lam yunabba bima fi suhfi Musa. He has not, not been informed of what is in the uh, the books of Musa alayhi salam fi suhf sahifa suhf wa ibrahim alladhi waffa and the books of ibrahim who completed his work waffa did it completely now what is the message that is in these books alla taziru waziratun wizra ukhra alla taziru there is also an al mukhaffafa an la taziru and la taziru waziratun waziratun is is fa'il of taziru wazara is it to 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 carry a load la taziru waziratun waziratun is na'at and the man'ud has man'ud has been omitted which is nafs nafsun waziratun a soul which carries which carries its actions its deeds and la taziru waziratun wizra ukhra the lord of someone else no soul will carry the weight or the load of some some other soul and la taziru so here also an la taziru there's no uh, it's not anna it's an an la taziru waziratun wizra ukhra ukhra is not of another Manahut is an nafsin ukhra. La taziru nafsun waziratun wizra nafsin ukhra. And then wa an laysa lil insani illa masha. Here we say an hu. And hu here is the mirushan which has to be omitted. Wa an hu. And that the fact is that laysa lil insani. Man does not have laysa lil insani illa masha except what he strives for what he strives for what he works for aw an laysa lil insani illa ma sa'a here an and this is the khabar and the ism of an is who which is the mirshan which has been omitted now in these two cases jumla ismiya and jumla fi'liya with a jamid verb the an is followed by the sentence directly but in a jumla fi'liya which does not have a jamid verb an is separated from the sentence from the khabar with one of the with one of four things which i'll mention now one of four things that uh, that is what a sentence without a jamid verb. Jumla ismiya doesn't need a word to separate an from the from the from its khabar. A verbal sentence with a jamid verb also does not need. But a verbal sentence without a jamid verb, the regular verb with a sarrif verb, needs a word to separate an from its khabar. Now there are four things. Number one is qad. Now the here is an ayah wa na'lamu an qad sadaqtana
عن قد Now this is five, one thirteen. When the Christians wanted Isa alayhi salam to bring down a ma'ida, a table. Yes, they said, "Qalu nuridu an naakula minha." وَتَطْمَئِنَّ قُلُوبُ وَتَطْمَئِنَّ قُلُوبُنَا وَنَعْلَمَ This is a mistake here. That's why I wanted to verify. وَنَعْلَمَ أَنْ قَدْ صَدَقْتَنَا Now they said قَالُوا نُرِيدُ أَنْ نَأْكُلَ مِنْهَا We want to eat from it, from the ma'idah, from the table that we want you to bring down. قَالُوا نُرِيدُ أَنْ نَأْكُلَ مِنْهَا وَتَطْمَئِنَّ قُلُوبُنَا And that our hearts find rest. Find, you know, when we see it, we know that you have been, Allah has been kind to us and has sent down. And you are, prayers have been answered. So our hearts find rest. وَنَعْلَمَا And we know أن قد صدقتنا that you have told us the truth. You said I'll bring down the the table. So when it comes already, he's here. We know that you have told us the truth. ونعلم أن so نعلم is معطوف of نريد أن نأكل وتطمئن قلوبنا ونعلم أن قد صدقتنا وَنَكُونَ عَلَيْهَا مِنَ الشَّاهِدِينَ And we will be witness for it. So here we have وَنَعْلَمَ أَنْ This أَنْ is lightened. قَدْ صَدَقْتَنَا Now this is not a, there is no jamid verb here. It's not a sentence, jumla ismiya. Secondly, it is a verbal sentence but without jamid verb. So we need قَدْ here. One of the four, one of four things I told you. So here it is قد ونعلم أن قد صدقتنا so that we know that you have told us the truth. Number one is قد. Number two is حرف تنفيس. حرف تنفيس. As you know, حرف تنفيس. There are two. One is سين. And the second is sofa. That is a particle which signifies future action, future tense. And we have seen here in uh, seen in the I have. Alima an sayakunu min. عَلِمَ أَنْ سَيَكُونُ عَلِمَ أَنْ سَيَكُونُ مِنْكُمْ مَرْضَى We are told this 73.20 So here, alima an sayakunu. We don't have qad here. We have the qad is past tense. Here we have sayakunu. Sin sin harf tanfis. Yes. Min kum mardu. Now here is a line of poetry. I would like to because I have been telling you now and then lines of poetry. So I'll tell you there is scene here.
أبشر زعم الفرزدق أن سيقتل مربعا أبشر بطول أبشر بطول سلامة يا مربع Now it needs a little explanation. Farazdaq and Jarir. This is by Jarir. There were two very famous poets. Farazdaq was one, Jarir was another. They were rivals. They, they lived, they uh, flourished during the time of the Abbasid period. And they were great poets, but they had always, they were rivals of each other. And they wrote <coughs> things, you know, about e against each other. So, Za'am al farazdaq He says, uh, Mirba, Mirba is Jarir's narrator. Yeah, every poet in pre-Islamic time and early Islamic times, they had a narrator who will listen to the, poet, the poet's poems, new poems, and uh, get them by heart, and then narrate whenever uh, it's needed. Uh, the, this Rawiya, Rawiya, one who is from Riwaya, one who, you know, narrates or, uh, you know, he takes away his poetry to different parts of the country. زعم الفرزدق أن سيقتل مربعا إذا زعم الفرزدق فرزدق زعم إنه هي claimed زعم الفرزدق هي claimed now claiming is also like like علما that is sure knowledge he claimed أن سيقتل مربعا في أن سيقتل مربعا after unseen on who, who has been omitted. So Farazdaq, uh, Farazdaq claimed that he will kill Mirba'an. He will kill Mirba'an. That is the Rawiya of, of Jarir, his narrator. Now he's pulling his leg, mocking at him. He says, Abshir bi tuli salamatin ya Mirba. Mirba he now is speaking to Mirba, addressing him. He says, Mirba, be sure that you will have a long life. Because Farazdaq is such a coward that he's not going to kill you. He says, Abshir. Abshir, you know, we have seen this in our book. Uh, have the good news. Bitooli salamatin, with a long life. Ya Mirba, Mirba, have a, be, be, be sure. Be assured of a long life because Farazdaq wants to kill you. Zamal Farazdaqu an sayaqtulu. An sayaqtulu. Here we have seen, as we have seen in the ayah, alima an sayakun. Mirba'an abshir bi tuli salamatin ya mirba'u. Now we'll see Saufa. Saufa, we don't have the Quran, but there is a line of poetry Saufa it is also another harf tanfis wa'alam fa'ilmu al-mar'i yanfa'u fa'alam fa'ilmu علم المرء ينفعه وعلم فعلم المرء ينفعه أن سوف يأتي سوف يأتي كل ما قدر The 
Lord says, وَعْلَمْ No. وَعِلْمُ الْمَرْءِ يَنْفَعْهُ Knowledge of a man. Mar, you know, is Imru'un. You got with Hamza, it's Imru'un. Imru'un, Imra'an, Imri'in. And uh, without Hamza, it's a mar, just like Imra'atun and Mar'atun. Al-Mar'atu. وَعْلَمْ وَعْلَمْ فَعِلْمُ الْمَرْءِ يَنْفَعُهُ No, uh, because, fa, because, Knowledge of a man will help him, will benefit him. وَعْلَمْ وَعِلْمُ الْمَرْئِ يَنْفَعُهُ أَنْ سَوْفَ يَأْتِي كُلُّ مَا قُدِرَ أَنْ سَوْفَ يَأْتِي So he is an who, has been omitted. سَوْفَ يَأْتِي He is سَوْفَ سَوْفَ يَأْتِي كُلُّ مَا قُدِرَ كُلُّ is فَاعِلَ لَفْ يَأْتِي كُلُّ مَا قُدِرَ قُدِرَ is passive voice. This alif is extra. This is for poetic purpose. قُدِرَ has been determined. كُلُّ مَا قُدِرَ All that has been determined by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for a man is going to happen, it's going to come to him. So, وَعْلَمْ No, وَعِلْمُ الْمَرْءِ يَنْفَعُهُ Or knowledge helps a man, or knowledge of a man helps him, is benefit, does benefit him. أَنْ سَوْفَ يَأْتِي كُلُّ مَا قُدِرَ All that has been determined for him, has been created for him, good or bad. سوف يأتي كل ما قدره will come to him. Now that is سوف. We have seen seen two examples, one from the Quran, the other from the Arabic poetry. And سوف we don't have in the Quran. We have only line from poetry. Now third we have seen first is قد second is حرف تنفيس third is حروف نفي حروف نفي حروف نفي لن ان لم ان لا these three Lan, lam, la. All are huruf nafi, negative particles, and they also will separate an from the khabar when when the khabar is neither a jumla ismiya nor a jumla fa'liya having fa'l jamit in them. Now let us take first of all. لن نو أيحسب الإنسان أن لن يجمع إضامة أيحسب الإنسان أولا لن أيحسب الإنسان أن لن نجمع عظامة This is 75 75-3 أيحسب الإنسان أن لن نجمع عظامة Does man think أيحسب الإنسان أن لن Again, you see an here. Its ism is an, which has who, which has been omitted. The bin Rishan. يحسب الإنسان أن لن نجمع عظامة. Does man think that we will not assemble his bones? عظمن عظمن is a bone singular plural عظام. يحسب الإنسان حسب يحسب. سمع يسمع إيا جروب. يحسب الإنسان فاعل. أن لن نجمع إضامة أن لن see because of أن and the verb not being جامد verb we have one of these particles which separate لن هي أن لن نجمع جمع يجمع like فتح يفتح a group أن لن نجمع إضامة إضامة is مفعول به of يجمع نجمع
We have seen lan and then now we go to uh, lam. Ayahsabu. Lam. Ayahsabu. An lam yarahu ahad. An lam yarahu ahad. Ahsaba an lam yarahu ahad. This ninety seven. Ayahsabu. Does he think the file is Damir Mustatir? Ayahsabu an lam yarahu ahad. That nobody has seen him. Ayahsabu an lam yarahu ahad. Yara is majzum because of lam. And the alamat al jazm is the omission of the third radical. Ayahsabu an lam yarahu ahad. Then we come to la. Afala yarawna. This is in Surat Taha. Afala yarawna. Afala yarawna. An la yarji'u. An la yarji'u. An la yarji'u. Ilayhim qawla. إليهم قولا ولا يملك ولا يملك لهم ضرا ولا نفعا لا يملك لهم ضرا ولا نفع سورة طه أفلا يرون the reference is to the calf which they started worshipping the Jews after they came out from Egypt. The calf. Afala yaraun. Don't they see? Afala yaraun. An la yarji'u. An. And the ism of an has been omitted. It is ha. The mirashan. An la yarji'u. Here we have got la. Which separates an with from the verb. An la yarji'u ilayhim qawla. Don't they see that this animal, this calf, does not return a word to them, doesn't speak to them, doesn't reply to them. Afala yarawna an la yarji'u ilayhim qawlan Speech, reply, doesn't uh, turn, return to them any word. Afala yarawna an la yarji'u ilayhim qawlan wa la yamlikun lahum naf'an dharran wa la naf'an does not possess, uh, does not possess, doesn't have uh, any harm nor benefit for them doesn't possess any doesn't possess any harm or benefit to them so here an la yarji'u and la is the particle that separates an from the verb because the verb is not uh, jamin so i've seen first of all qad and second is harf tanfis and we have seen harf tanfis, seen and sawfa. And the third is uh, lan, harf nafi, which, uh, which includes lan and lam and la. And we have seen all these um, examples of these three huruf uh, and nafi. Now the fourth is adatu shart. Number four, adatu Short. Number 
here we have Ida and Lau. You'll see, first of all, we see Ida. وَقَدْ نَزَلَ عَلَيْكُمْ وَقَدْ نَزَلَ وَقَدْ نَزَلَ عَلَيْكُمْ وَقَدْ نَزَلَ عَلَيْكُمْ فِي الْكِتَابِ وَقَدْ نَزَلَ عَلَيْكُمْ فِي الْكِتَابِ أَنْ This is lightened أَنْ إِذَا سَمِعْتُمْ آیات اللہ آیات اللہ اذا سمعتم آیات اللہ یکفر بها بها ويستهزأ بها ويستهزأ بها فلا تقعدوا معهم فلا تقعدوا معهم حتى يخوضوا حتى يخوضوا حديث غيره في حديث غيره إنكم إذا مثلهم Now this is 4.140 This is Allah Azza wa Shat. If وقد نزل عليكم he has sent down. There is the file of نزل is Allah Subhanahu wa Taala is a damir mustatir refers to Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. وقد نزل عليكم he has revealed unto you sent down the revelation to you في الكتاب in the book that is in the Quran. An so an its ism is ضمير الشان هو أن هو which has to be omitted أن إذا سمعتم here إذا the particle that separates the verb from in إذا سمعتم آيات الله يكفر بها if you hear the revelations of Allah سبحانه وتعالى يكفر بها being denied يكفر بها passive voice يكفر بها when you listen to people Denying Allah's revelations, Allah's ayat, Allah's Quranic uh, uh, verses, wa yustahza ubiha, also passive voice, and being mocked at when you listen to people uh, denying Allah's revelations and mocking at them. Fala taqudu ma'ahum. This is Jawab al-Shart, and because it is fail. Talabi, 
text fa fala taqudu this is nahi fala taqudu ma'ahum do not sit with them qada yaqudu nasara yansuru a o group hatta yaqudu fi hadith ghairi till they indulge in a discourse other than that in a different discourse in a different subject matter when they stop talking about uh, and talking in uh, starting a new subject hatta yakhudu fi hadith ghairi innakum idhan mithluhum that is if you do not get out from that uh, that session then you are innakum idhan in that case idhan mithluhum you are like them you are the same like them in uh, mocking at Allah's revelations and denying Allah's revelations you will be become like them you will be regarded as part of that society part of that group so waqad nazzal alaykum fil kitabi an idha sami'tum ayatil la yukfaru biha when you listen to Allah's revelations being denied wa istahza'u biha and mocked at فَلَا تَقْعُدُوا مَعَهُمْ Do not sit with them حَتَّى يَقُوضُوا فِي حَدِيثٍ غَيْرِهِ Till they start a different discourse إِنَّكُمْ إِذَنْ مِثْلُهُمْ If you don't do that, you are to be regarded as them A part of that society That is إِذَا and then we have one more that is law. Law. Yes. وَأَلَّا بِسْتَقَامُوا وَأَلَّا بِسْتَقَامُوا عَلَى الطَّرِيقَةِ وَأَلَّا بِسْتَقَامُوا عَلَى الطَّرِيقَةِ لَأَسْقَيْنَاهُمْ مَا أَنْ غَدَقَ لَأَسْقَيْنَاهُمْ مَا أَنْ غَدَقَ Now it's written like this in the Mus'haf Actually it is وَأَنْ لَوْ So, as you know, law is for, for a past condition which, uh, which, uh, which, uh, which has not been fulfilled. Law jitani la atayitu ka kitaban. Had you come yesterday, I would have given you a book. That means he did not come and did not give him the book. Law is taqamu. Had they been steadfast ala tariqati on the right path, la istaqamu, istaqama, yastaqimu, bab, tenth, tenth bab, if, if, istafala. La istaqamu, had they uh, been steadfast in their uh, path, in the, in the right path, la asqaynahum, this is lam jawabul, jawab law. La asqaynahum. We would have given them, given them water. We would have been provided them with water. Saqa yasqi. This is first salasi mujarrad. Saqa yasqi. Saqay tuhu maan. I gave him a drink of water. It is also used with form four. Asqa yusqi. Also the same meaning. Some people make a difference. Saqa means gave, gave him water right away to drink. 
and Asqa means to provide, he provided him with a water source or water, a glass of water, something like that he gave him, uh, something or showed him the place where water is available. But Saqa means to give him directly a glass of water. That is the view of some of the uh, lexicographers. وَأَلَّوِسْتَقَامُ uh, had, had they been steadfast in their following the right path لَأَسْقَيْنَاهُمْ we would have given them water where we would have provided them with water مَعَنْ غَدَقَ in abundance abundant water it's a very rarely used word Yes, these are the four elements or four particles which are used to separate an from the khabar, khabar of an, lightened an. When, when does it happen? It happens when the khabar is not a jumla ismiya or a jumla fa'liya with a jamid verb. With a jamid verb it doesn't take. It, it, jamid, a sentence with a jamid verb or a jumla ismiya. These two types of sentences do not need any particle to separate an from the verb, from the khabar. But other types need and these uh, particles we separate are of four kinds. One is qad, the second is seen or sofa, the third is uh, harf nafi which is either lan or lam or la. We have seen examples of all this. The fourth is adat shart which is ida or la. Now this in in short is the salient, salient features of an al muhaffafa and as I told you, it requires a knowledge of Dhamir uh, al and Dhamir al Qissa that I have explained. So it is like uh, it is wrong to say in English. It is wrong to say. It does not apply to, apply to or refer to anything before. It applies to something which comes after the pronoun. It is wrong to say so. So, so to say so is wrong. Till that idea comes into my mind, I use the word it. Then the whole sentence comes, I remove it and put the real uh, muptada in its place. In the same way, in the Mir uh, you say for example, innaha la ta'mal absar. Innaha la ta'mal absar. The fact is, what is the fact? The fact is that the eyesight uh, eyesights do not grow blind. So it can be the Damir Shan can be either it comes with inna or uh, innahu innaha. If it is masculine innahu, then it is called Damir Shan. Shan means matter or uh, fact. And if it is feminine, it is called Damir al Qissa. Qissa means narrative, story. That is when it is Damir al Nasb. Innahu inna. If it is Zamir or Rafa, like Huwa, it is always Huwa, third person singular. Huwa, then uh, it doesn't come with Inna, of course. It's Qul Hu Allah, what say? The fact is that Allah is one. Uh, the use of Zamir uh, Shan as Zamir or Rafa is, is not very common is mostly innahu or inna. I hope this new concept has been useful and you have understood it completely alhamdulillah. Uh, I hope along with the inna al muqaffafa anna al muqaffafa you will put them together because they belong to the same group inna anna and uh, inshallah 
with more reading and repetition of this uh, of this lesson you will you will be able to understand more inshallah wa akhiru da'wana alhamdulillah